Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. The James Webb Telescope has just made some scary discoveries. The first one is not just intriguing, but very unsettling and strange, leaving everyone unable to provide a precise, logical, or generally accepted explanation. This recent discovery, as revealed in the telescope's images, has shattered our entire understanding of cosmology into irreparable pieces. In fact, scientists are starting to consider the possibility that the Big Bang theory might be completely wrong. What exactly did James Webb discover? Why is this revelation causing such profound confusion in our understanding of cosmology and astronomy? Let's find out. Infinity is just like anywhere else. That's the difficult concept in this thing, that the photons reach infinity without realizing, without realizing anything funny has happened, if you put it like that. The James Webb Space Telescope, popularly called the JWST, has recently made a surprising discovery, revealing that more than 771 trillion solar systems have mysteriously vanished from our universe. This disappearance encompasses stars and their associated planets, presenting an abnormal occurrence. Strikingly, this event contradicts one of the fundamental laws of physics known as the law of conservation of matter. How does this contradict this important law? The law of conservation of matter is a fundamental principle in physics that asserts that matter cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only change forms, and the total amount of matter in a closed system remains constant over time. This means that while various processes may alter the arrangement and structure of matter, the overall quantity remains unchanged. The recent revelation challenges this foundational law by implying the sudden disappearance of many solar systems involving countless stars and planets. The implications of such an event raise essential questions about our understanding of the universe and the laws governing its behavior. The rule of conservation of matter serves as a cornerstone in physics, emphasizing the enduring nature of matter within the cosmos. The unexpected disappearance of over 771 trillion solar systems, as indicated by the James Webb Space Telescope, sparks intrigue and prompts further exploration into the mysteries of our vast universe. Basically, even though these stars and planets seem to have vanished, they might still exist in the cosmos in a different form that we cannot see. This idea follows the natural events that occur as stars age. When stars become old and can no longer hold the gases within them, they undergo a powerful explosion known as a supernova. Supernovas are dramatic events in the life cycle of stars. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it undergoes a gravitational collapse, causing an intense burst of energy and light. This explosion can outshine entire galaxies for a brief period. During a supernova, elements are synthesized, and the star releases an enormous amount of energy into space. Let's relate this to the recent discovery of the disappearing solar systems. The theory suggests that the stars and planets in those systems might have undergone supernovas, transforming into different states. While we may not see them in their previous form, the matter from these celestial bodies may have been scattered into space, contributing to creating new elements and potentially giving rise to other cosmic phenomena. The disappearance of solar systems could be linked to the natural progression of stars, where they transition from one phase to another through processes like supernovas. This connection highlights the dynamic and transformative nature of the cosmos, where celestial bodies change, contributing to the ever-evolving tapestry of the universe. Another theory sheds a different light on the situation, proposing that black holes might be responsible for the sudden disappearance of these stars. In simple terms, a black hole is a region in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. This makes black holes challenging to observe directly. The theory suggests that stars and their associated planets might have been drawn towards black holes, leading to their disappearance. When celestial bodies get too close to a black hole, the gravitational forces become overwhelming pulling them in. Once inside the black hole's boundary, known as the event horizon, everything, including light, is trapped, making it impossible to detect or observe from a distance. This concept aligns with the idea that the stars and planets, instead of vanishing altogether, might have been swallowed by these unseen gravitational giants, the black holes. While we cannot directly see black holes, 
Their influence on nearby celestial objects can be inferred through their gravitational effects. This alternative theory suggests that the mysterious disappearance of stars and planets could be attributed to their encounter with black holes, where the immense gravitational forces lead to their absorption into these enigmatic cosmic entities. Scientist Beatrice Villaroel from the Northern Institute for Physics in Sweden has shown a unique project called VASCO, aiming to unravel the mystery surrounding the disappearance of the 771 trillion stars. The VASCO project involves scanning astronomical archives to locate a star that has been present in the night sky since the early days of cosmology, but has suddenly vanished at some point in history. Essentially, Beatrice and her team are on a quest to identify a star that experienced a fate similar to the 771 trillion star systems that seem to have disappeared. This project reflects an effort to delve into the historical records of the cosmos, examining observations and data from the past to pinpoint instances where a star's presence abruptly ceased. The goal is to identify patterns or events that could provide insights into the phenomena observed in the recent discovery. By scrutinizing astronomical archives, Beatrice and her team aim to uncover celestial occurrences parallel the mysterious disappearances, shedding light on the cosmic processes at play. The VASCO project represents a pioneering initiative to use historical astronomical data to understand the enigmatic vanishing of celestial bodies. Beatrice and her team hope to discover a star that went through a similar fate, contributing valuable information to the ongoing quest to comprehend the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of the universe. What other theories have been proposed regarding the sudden disappearance of the 771 trillion stars? Scientists have presented more theories that could be the answer to the stars vanishing. Within the astronomical community, there's a suggestion that the apparent disappearance of stars and planets might be linked to a flaw or malfunction with the JWST. This proposal speculates that the JWST could be encountering difficulties in detecting the light emitted by these celestial bodies, unlike its previous capabilities. To counter this theory, NASA, the agency overseeing the JWST, hasn't identified any errors with the telescope. If the issue revolves around the visibility of these stars, it may not be a fault of the JWST, but rather a characteristic of the stars themselves. Perhaps the light emitted by these stars is no longer visible to the JWST due to changes in their conditions or other astronomical factors. This perspective suggests that the JWST, despite its advanced technology, might face challenges in capturing the light signals from these specific stars. There is a discussion among astronomers regarding the James Webb Space Telescope and its capability to detect light from certain stars. Scientists in the astronomical community are debating whether the JWST might be encountering difficulties in observing the light emitted by these stars. The focus of their exploration is to determine whether these challenges arise from potential issues with the telescope's tools, or if alterations are occurring in how these stars appear to be visible. This ongoing investigation involves astronomers actively engaging in conversations to gain a deeper understanding of and address this aspect of the telescope's performance. The goal is to uncover whether technical limitations are affecting the JWST's ability to capture the light from specific stars, or if there are intrinsic changes in the visibility of these stars themselves. A somewhat peculiar and controversial theory speculates about extraterrestrial activity. This theory considers the possibility that aliens might be responsible for the disappearance of stars and planets. The idea suggests that one way aliens could achieve this is by using the celestial bodies to construct Dyson spheres. Dyson spheres are hypothetical megastructures that encircle a star, capturing its energy for various purposes. Proposed by British-American science fiction writer Olaf Stapledon and later popularized, these colossal structures are envisioned as a means for advanced civilizations to harness the energy emitted by their host stars on an astronomical scale. Observing planet-like objects with the JWST is only possible through evolution, which has played a primal role in paving the way for the creation of disciplines like astronomy and cosmology. These scientific fields have developed, driven by humanity's curiosity and evolving understanding of the cosmos. Astronomy studies celestial objects such as stars, planets, and galaxies. It has ancient roots, 
with early humans observing the night sky and creating myths and stories based on their observations. Over the centuries, astronomy evolved as a scientific discipline, incorporating technological advancements like telescopes. Observing the movements of celestial bodies led to theories explaining their behavior, such as the heliocentric model proposed by Copernicus. Cosmology, as a branch of astrophysics, focuses on investigating the large-scale structure, origin, and evolution of the universe. It explores profound questions concerning the underlying nature of space and time, seeking to unravel the mysteries of cosmic existence. The emergence of cosmology as a distinct scientific field gained prominence, particularly in the 20th century, marked by revolutionary theories such as the Big Bang Hypothesis. This hypothesis proposes that the universe originated from an exceedingly dense and hot initial state, setting the stage for its ongoing expansion. These scientific disciplines, intertwined yet distinct, continue to evolve hand in hand. They contribute significantly to our broader comprehension of the cosmos, unveiling its historical narrative and providing insights into potential future developments. The ongoing synergy between astronomy and cosmology, fueled by technological progress, enriches our understanding of the universe's intricacies, fostering a continuous journey of exploration and discovery. As the universe expands, scientists observe the birth of numerous stars and galaxies. This continuous process of creation has led scientists to ponder the mysterious force driving the expansion, and they refer to it as dark energy. In simpler terms, Dark energy is the unseen influence causing the universe to stretch and grow over vast distances. The concept of dark energy arises from observations that galaxies are moving away from each other at an accelerating rate. This phenomenon suggests the existence of a force counteracting gravity, which would usually slow down the expansion. While dark energy remains elusive and invisible, its effects on the cosmic scale are profound, shaping the universe's large-scale structure. In addition to dark energy, scientists also posit the existence of another unseen element called dark matter. Unlike the matter we are familiar with, stars, planets, and galaxies, dark matter does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible to our telescopes. Yet its gravitational influence is significant, as it exerts a pull on visible matter, affecting the motion of galaxies and the formation of large cosmic structures. The presence of dark matter is inferred through its gravitational effects, such as the rotation curves of galaxies and the way galaxies cluster in the cosmic web. Although dark matter and energy remain enigmatic, their role in the cosmic ballet is crucial, shaping the evolution and dynamics of the universe on grand scales. How does dark matter have anything to do with the James Webb Telescope? And what conclusion are scientists driving at with the discoveries? Dark matter, as its name implies, is an intriguing mass that exists like darkness. The James Webb Space Telescope has empowered scientists to create maps unveiling the distribution of dark matter across the universe. To grasp this, let's simplify. Dark matter, a mysterious substance we can't see, constitutes a significant portion of the total mass in the universe. Unlike everyday matter interacting with light, dark matter doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light making direct observation challenging. Still, its presence becomes evident through its gravitational effects on visible entities like galaxies and galaxy clusters. Despite being invisible itself, we observe dark matter's existence by celebrating how it influences the behavior of the things we can see in the cosmos. By exploring various cosmic wonders, scientists have also discovered that the universe is not evenly spread out. Instead, certain areas exhibit higher densities than others. This uneven distribution has led scientists to contemplate several aspects of cosmic phenomena, with one supporting piece of evidence being the cosmic microwave background. The idea of varying density in the universe stems from observations of how matter is distributed on a large scale. Scientists have found that galaxies, clusters of galaxies, and cosmic structures are not uniformly scattered but form patterns with regions of varying density. These observations have sparked inquiries into the fundamental nature of the cosmos and its intricate structure. The cosmic microwave background, often called CMB, is crucial in supporting this theory. 
The CMB is a faint glow of radiation that permeates the universe, originating from the early stages of the universe's formation. Scientists interpret variations in the CMB's temperature as clues to the density fluctuations present in the early universe. These fluctuations, imprinted on the CMB, provide insights into the initial conditions and evolution of cosmic structures. By studying the cosmic microwave background, scientists gain valuable information about the density variations that existed during the universe's infancy. These density fluctuations are considered essential in shaping the large-scale structure we observe today, influencing the distribution of galaxies, galaxy clusters, and cosmic voids. Over the years, scientists have introduced various methods to measure or detect dark matter in the universe. Still, none have provided definitive results until the James Webb Space Telescope emerged as a powerful tool that gives scientists a notable advantage. Through its near camera called NearCam images, astronomers can now use these images to calculate the amount of dark matter present in specific parts of the cosmos. The JWS, with its advanced technology NearCam, stands out as a game changer in the quest to understand dark matter. Unlike previous methods, which faced limitations and uncertainties, the high-resolution images captured by the JWST provide astronomers with detailed insights into the cosmic landscape. The NERCAM, in particular, is instrumental in this process. Its ability to capture images in the near-infrared spectrum enhances the visibility of celestial objects, allowing astronomers to study regions that were once challenging to observe. By leveraging these images, scientists can undertake calculations to estimate the presence of dark matter in specific cosmic locations. The significance lies in the potential to unravel the mysteries surrounding dark matter. This substance makes up a substantial portion of the universe, but remains elusive and undetectable through conventional means. The JWST's unique capabilities, especially those offered by the NearCam, provide a new avenue for astronomers to explore and quantify the presence of dark matter, bringing us closer to understanding the fundamental forces at play in the cosmos. Gravitational lensing is another valuable tool in understanding dark matter. In simple terms, it occurs when the gravitational field of a massive object, like a galaxy or cluster of galaxies, bends the path of light from more distant objects. This bending acts as a natural lens, magnifying and distorting the appearance of the distant object. In studying dark matter, gravitational lensing gives astronomers a unique way to detect and measure its presence indirectly. As light from distant galaxies travels through regions with dark matter, the gravitational field of the dark matter bends and distorts the light. By observing these distortions, scientists can map the distribution of dark matter in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope and other observatories leverage gravitational lensing to enhance their ability to study dark matter. By analyzing the distorted shapes of distant galaxies, Astronomers can infer the gravitational influence of dark matter in the foreground. This method allows a more comprehensive understanding of where dark matter is concentrated and how it interacts with visible matter, such as stars and galaxies. Galaxy clusters have a fascinating impact on space-time, resulting in an extraordinary phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. In simple terms, the massive gravitational influence of a galaxy cluster causes a significant warp in the space-time around it. This warping effect becomes a lens through which light from a distant source like a distant galaxy is bent and distorted. When astronomers observe the effects of gravitational lensing caused by galaxy clusters, they gain insights into the mass distribution within the cluster. The warping of space-time bends the path of light rays, creating distorted images of background objects. By studying these distortions, scientists can map the mass distribution of the galaxy cluster, revealing the presence and influence of dark matter, which contributes to the overall mass. This phenomenon serves as a valuable tool for astronomers to indirectly study and measure the mass of galaxy clusters, including the elusive dark matter within them. The distortion of light caused by gravitational lensing provides a unique perspective on the gravitational forces at play in the universe, allowing scientists to investigate the intricate interplay between visible matter, dark matter, and the structure of space-time. 
Scientists are contemplating discarding the Big Bang theory and other previous cosmological ideas and theories, relying more on observations from the James Webb Space Telescope. However, reaching an agreement on this shift is expected to take a considerable amount of time. The Big Bang theory, which suggests that the universe began from a boiling and dense state, has long been a cornerstone of cosmology. Now, with the advanced observational capabilities of the JWST, scientists are exploring new avenues and re-evaluating existing theories. The telescope's ability to provide detailed and unprecedented insights into the universe prompts a reassessment of our understanding of cosmic origins. Despite the potential significance of JWST's observations, the scientific community operates on a foundation of thorough scrutiny and collaboration. Agreeing to discard long-standing theories, including the Big Bang, requires rigorous examination, discussion, and validation among scientists worldwide. As the JWST unfolds shocking discoveries, scientists are waiting with bated breath to discover what will happen next in the great unknown. Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond Discovery. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.